Hey everybody, it is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and I am here with a jewelry jar unboxing and jarring. I haven't done one of these in a while. It feels like, I didn't realize how long you've been. I think because I've been getting so many cool boxes from Rose that I haven't really done an unjarring in a bit. So I was like, ooh, let's do an unjarring today. I went out and I went to some garage sales today and I found a little bit of stuff. Um, but I'll probably save that to do on Sunday show and pull that stuff out to share on Sunday. And yeah, so also if you enjoy watching the Sunday show, I, I'm usually doing it at one, but I'll probably be doing it earlier in the day because we are going to the beach. So I won't be around at one. So yeah, there's that. Um, so yeah, hey everybody, I got the chat going. How's it look? Okay, because again, this is like the third time I've done this with the chat in the in the thing in the video so yeah <laughs> so hello hello everybody i see debbie and going on grumpy and maggie hello hi doc a doodle do and heather love them anyway and wendy and laurie hello nice to see you guys hey hi how's it going okay so i was prepared i think <laughs> i got my jar hi christine hello hello um so this is the jar again i'm working on this new system here so 34.99 and i think I paid full price for this. So it's been a while because as you guys know, I've got a stash of jars that I have up there. So I'm going to open this one. I'm trying to see, like maybe I need to scoot this over a little bit there. So if you write something really big, it's going to get cut off. <laughs> okay. Let me see if it looks okay now. I'm scooching that. I haven't scooched it yet. Okay. All right. So here it is. Do we have enough light? I think we have enough light. Sorry, I feel like I'm all over a place again. I think once I get used to this new system, it'll be all better. Okay, I'm gonna refresh my drink. It's Diet Dr. Pepper. I know I get teased that it was it's more than that, but it really is. It's just soda today. Um so hi, hi, Mystical. Oh, Carol's there. And Wendy and etc. Oh wait, I, aka Valerie. Thank you, Valerie. <laughs> and Donna and Minxy and Vintage Joy and John. Hello, hello. Okay, so let's do this. I have got my handy dandy jar. Let me show you why I bought the jar. There's a bunch of stuff. So when I look at a jar, let's just get right to that. I have to see something that I think is going to make me my money back. One, there's this like, let's see if I can get a good shot of it. This like gold bangle looking thing in there. There was that. Then I saw some cufflinks down here. You know how I love cufflinks. Saw some cufflinks down there. And what else did I see? I saw some other stuff. Well, let's just dig into it. How about that? Uh, <laughs> oh dear yeah Maggie says we'll have to be on our best behavior oh we can't swear or gossip go for it but now people won't think I'm crazy because <laughs> a lot of times I'm laughing at things people are saying and people are like uh or, or I'll watch it back and like why was I laughing that's so weird it looks weird like I'm just random look randomly laughing I'm laughing now because my magnet was stuck to my scissors hey Jenny <laughs> hi Oh, good, good. I'm glad to see you guys. Hey, Nevada. I'm sorry if I missed you going in, uh, coming into the chat, guys. Um, yeah, you you know what? Say what you say, and then people won't totally think I'm nuts. <laughs> I don't mind. Who who was talking the other night? Somebody was. Oh gosh, who was it? I think it was Richard on the merch. When I was doing a merch, I was doing one of these, but I was making a merch shirt. Oh yeah, they were really well because I blush and laugh so easily at like in like. I don't know. My mind goes to the gutter. I can't help it. So I, I blush and laugh at stuff. And so now it's like, okay, people will know why. <laughs> yeah, I'm an easy target. Not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Hey, Julie. Hello, hello. All right, so here we've got this jar. And let me grab my, er, my boxes here. And I saw just now in the chat. Okay, now the chat's scooching off and you can't see it. Er, somebody's long. Okay, somebody found some James Avery in the jar. Where is it? Let's see who said they got there. Wendy said she got some James Avery in a jewelry jar last night. That's so awesome. Where where are you again? Um Wendy, where are you? Because I find a lot of James Avery, so crossing fingers we find some. I, it always sells well. And Patty found a James Avery um keychain she's in our jewelry group she found a, key, a james avery keychain and it sold for like 30 something bucks i think 40 if patty shows up we'll ask her um hey electronic firing squad hello hello uh, and who else are we missing in the chat 
can't find jars anywhere. Oh no! Uh, and then Ma Maggie sent me her her one jar, and I found gold in it. And I was like, Maggie, please let me send you the gold. She said no, but I promised her the next cameo that I find is hers. Okay, let's see. Okay, we're talking about weather. Oh my gosh, 115. What is the ring? Oh, the oh, the ring in here. We're gonna find out. All right, so I'm gonna dump the jar. I've got too many windows open. Can you guys see okay? I'm sorry if I'm all over the place again. It's this new system. I'm, I'm trying to work it out. Here goes. I see an earring right on top, and I'm like, please be gold. Right, I'm dumping. I'm dumping. All right, I know. I, I chit chat. So I get I get comments about that too. Like, oh, stop talking so much. Just get on with it. No. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to my friends. That's why I'm here. I'm here to talk to my friends. There we go. Maggie says, I don't sell jewelry, just come to the halls to buy it. Okay, so here we go. We've got it all in the, in the here, in the here. And now, gosh, I really have, I feel like such a novice. Like, I haven't done this in so long. I can't get myself straight. Put the scissors over there, Margaret, because they're going to cut you. Yep. Someone had a James Avery ring in their hall. Cannot remember who, Jenny says. Ah. Oh, cool. Debbie says she found some old cufflinks in a toolbox at a garage sale. Hope they're worth something. Nice, nice. Okay, I'm sure I'm missing things again. Yeah, up in Canada, it, it's, yeah, because it's made here in Texas. Look, this is going to drive me nuts. Maybe I should make the, this part smaller. Apologies again. We're going to make it work. Will you be able to read that later? We're going to make it work. <laughs> Yay, thank you, Electronic Firing Squad, for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Alrighty, here we go. I have my loop and I have my magnet. <laughs> Electronic Firing Squad, do you have a channel? Because I like to check out people's channels too. Let's see. I'm going to open it over. I know, I still haven't started the chat. I still haven't started the jewelry jar. Oh, well. We'll get there. You got a channel. Nothing really. on. You got one subscribe. Come on, man. You got to get some channels up. Some friends need to make some videos. Okay, okay, okay. For real. I'm going now. <laughs> here we go. Alright, so first up, we have this cool necklace it's kind of got this marbled blue and green and let's see if the clasp is working or not here's the clasp fold it over snap and it's working isn't that cute that's cute okay let's see if there's any look this is <laughs> this is new for me okay let's see if there's any marks on it you get in the reflection from my light over there I don't see any marks but I like this kind of chain. I, I do. It looks really, I don't know, it looks really classy. All right. Yeah, I think. <laughs> so let's see if we're looking at that. Yeah, it's magnetic. But it's still really cool. I mean, and this is one of those that it's like a it sits at the base of the neck, you know, like a base. Well, this one's a little bit longer. But it's kind of like just wraps around the base of the neck a little bit. So it's kind of like a choker, but not quite. What do you call that when it's just at the base? So that's pretty cool. I'm thinking... Again, I haven't looked anything up because it's all new in the jar. I'm thinking that this will go for at least 25 bucks. So right there. So just because it's not gold or silver doesn't mean it's a bust, right? If you don't find gold or silver in the jar, it doesn't mean it's a bust, right? Okay. Um, let's see. Lori says, not a jewelry jar, but my first Italian cameo in the States for $3. Just listed it for $295. Wow, awesome. That is wonderful. Congratulations. Okay, no channel yet working on it. I think lots more people should have channels. Because then we get to know... I've gotten to know so many people through this. It's amazing. Okay, next up... Oh, that's pretty. Okay, but I'm going to wait for that one. Oh, there's some cute stuff, y'all. I think this is a good one. So here is this necklace. It's got all these bits on it. Um, And I know there's a name for this. Oh, listen to the sound. Can y'all hear it? It sounds okay. It's not too bad. Um, let's see, is it, is it scratched up? I feel like my lighting in here is not right today. I'm having trouble. So it's got this kind of like painted enamel. I'm looking at it real quick to see if I see any scratches. No? All the enamel-y parts look pretty good. Sometimes you get these and the like little enamel parts stop swinging around. All the little enamel parts are scratched up, but this one looked really good. Like so. Looks nice. Okay. So... If you were me, and you are, <laughs> what would you list this for? I don't think it's, you know, it's just costume jewelry. I don't see any marks or anything. But, um, yeah, definitely magnetic. 
It's very cute, right? It's kind of like a coral in a a bluey, bluey purple color, you know? Um, yeah, so there's that. I'm guessing it'll probably go, your know, husband needs to do a jar with me. It'll probably go $17.99, $19.99. Again, these are total guesses, just because. Maybe more, we'll see. Um, my husband needs to do a jar with me. Julie says, starting, thinking of starting a channel about reselling, but also about your daughter's journey. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. Hi, Nancy. I'm doing well. Thank you. Thank you. I never know if on cheaper pieces, if it's enamel or resin. Yeah, that's true. Isn't resin like more filled, right? And enamel is more painted. We'll, we'll figure it out. That'll be one of our, that'll be one of our homework pieces. How about that? We'll figure it out. Because this, yeah, you're right. It's like, I, I kind of go with enamel, but then it does feel more, like, less, like, painted on and more filled. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Any tips for telling? No. We'll do some homework. How about that? That's, I mean, that's the coolest, I mean, that's the coolest part about this, especially learning more about jewelry, is that there's always something new to learn, right? Every time I think, yeah, I'm pretty, like, when I was like, oh, yeah, I know Amber, and we started digging into Amber, I was like, man, mm-mm. There was a lot I didn't know. So, <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, talking about, okay. <laughs> thank you so much. Love them anyway. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah. Okay, thank you. Oh, it looks like Aldo and Zara. Yep. Okay, then we've got this one that's like safety pins with little beads tucked in there. This will probably go into a lot. It's cute, but I can't see myself selling it. So this will probably go into a lot right there. Um, then this is, oh, we've had one of these before and somebody's told, I think they wrap around, these have this magnet, you know, and these little crystally beads like so, but they, they're all magnetic. Those ones that look like the hematite beads there. So it's all magnetic on there. That's cool. And I know I have some more of these. I know I do. So they wrap, you can wrap it and wrap it and wrap it. Right. There we go. <laughs> Julie says, learn something new every time I watch it. So that's good. I want to learn something new too. Now, this is new. What is this? Okay, so <laughs> this looks like hardened Play-Doh painted gold, but it's a little harder than that. It is, it looks like tofu, <laughs> hardened tofu painted gold. All right, let's see. Um, <clears throat> okay, I'm looking back. Make sure y'all can see everything okay. Okay, good. It looks good. So, yeah, this, I've never seen anything quite like this. They're not like rocks. They're definitely man-made something. Um, burnt tofu. It does, right? This is definitely vegan jewelry. No, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, I am at a loss because I am. But it's neat. It's different. It feels like it would be super scratchy to wear, though right? Food to go. <laughs> instead of one of those candy necklaces, this is like a vegan's candy necklace, but instead of those little pieces of candy, it's like little bits of hardened tofu, right? I'm not going to put it in my mouth for real, so. <laughs> anyway, so there's that. Cool. <laughs> oh, here's one of those cufflinks. Let's see if I find the mate. Wait, I'll hold it. I'll hold it to the side till I find the mate, because that's big. That's pretty cool. Like the kids' candy necklaces, yeah. Oh, is it buffering? Let me check my um, stream thing, because that's part of my issues here. Okay, it won't show me. It says it's okay. Well, we'll see. Looks like dried liver treats for dogs, Christine says. <laughs> oh, look. I put my hand right on the other cufflink. So, look. Here we go. Here are these cufflinks. These are super unusual. They're big, and they look like propellers, don't they? Almost like boat propellers. They're not, they don't seem quite big enough for plane propellers. <laughs> oh, yay, Twin Red Dragon Z. I'm here to cheer you up. That is my duty. <laughs> so, I don't see any marks on these. They're really cool, though. And we are, oh, this one, I can't tell if that's a dent or it's supposed to be there. Yeah, that one's got a little dent. I don't know if you can see it, like, right there. Which is weird, because they feel really solid. I don't know how they would dent in steampunk yes now that is that's a good keyword thank you christine okay 
Now, I don't see any marks, which doesn't necessarily matter. In, in my opinion, if you're selling just like regular cufflinks and people are just looking for a style rather than a name, I mean, a lot of people aren't like, I have to have swank. They have to be swank cufflinks or I won't wear them. Pardon me. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of times there's that. Um, only seem to find one cufflink no mate. I've got a bag full. I have a bag full. And you know, when I, when I had, um, David on, the cufflink king, we were talking about that and he was saying, well, a lot of people, you could, if they're cool enough and big enough, funky enough, you know, can change it into a pendant or something like that. Or if they're broken, like the little backs are broken off, the toggles, you know, that people can change them, you know, transform them into earrings or something like that. You know, so yeah. I have, like I say, I have a bag full of mismatched ones. Okay, next we have these little clip-on earrings. They're super cute. And every time I want to call, I, I know they're not tiger's eye, but that style, cat's eye, that's what it is, where it's got that ear, it's not iridescent eye, where it goes across like that. You know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about. It's like what tiger's eye does, but it's man-made. So there's that. Again, I don't see any markings on them, but they're a nice quality. They're really, I mean, they're a nice shape. They're not scuffed up or messed up. Let me grab my, yeah. Eh. Well, there's a little bit of pull in the spring area, but the front part's not pulling. So, I mean, even if, I don't know that they're silver, but even if they were, it's not really that much. I don't, I don't think they are. But anyway, so there's a, it could be steel, stainless steel or something else. So there's those. Hang on, let me stick them together. This jar was $34.99, which is a lot for me, generally. But I saw some stuff in there that looked really promising. Really promising. Okay, I'm going to start sticking. Look at this bracelet. Okay, this is really pretty and looks really super promising. This, look, okay. Look at this one. This, it. I mean, looks like gold, right? And it looks like that... Connemara marble, you know what I'm talking about? That um, Irish marble. I've been so into finding that lately. Yeah, like 35 bucks. Okay, let's take a closer look at this bracelet. And it's got this, the in-between parts like so, have that kind of sort of Native American look or Art Deco kind of style look to them. Okay, let's see if we see any marks. I see a mark. What does it say? I'm getting my loop. It says, upside down. <laughs> it does, it has that Art Deco look to it. It says, 120th 12K Gold Fill WRE. I don't know what WRE means, but so it's 12K, 12 karat gold filled, which is still cool. I mean, generally gold fill stuff doesn't necessarily mean it's going to sell for, oh, it's like gold, right? But this is really pretty. So I have a feeling that it'll still do okay. It's small too. Look how pretty. I wonder if that will fit me. <laughs> Let's put it on. Let's try it. It's so dainty. Look, except for I've got that scratch. Let's do that one. My cat scratched me over there. Look, look how dainty it is. Isn't it pretty? Oh yeah. I'll have to find out if that is that Connemara marble because it has that same kind of look to it. Doesn't it? It does. All right, I'll find out. I have a major change in my eBay store. Awesome hubby um, has made suggestions that I only sell jewelry in my store and sell clothes and purses and shoes at the rack I have at the... Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Could be, could be arts and crafts movement. Oh, cool. Okay, so I'm going to set that to the side. It's it look, You know when you see something, you're like, it look, looks really well made, right? It looks really well made. Yes. Very pretty. Then we've got this. We'll probably end up in a lot. It's kind of indented in there in the middle part. I wonder if it's supposed to be like that. Maybe it is to give it more sparkles. Who knows? All right, there's that. And then we've got some more clip-on earrings. Come here. Open up. Boom. Some more clip-ons. And these have sort of a tiger look to them, like so. And... I don't know. They're kind of neat. I'll probably sell these by themselves. Like so. There. And uh, look at the backs, too. So the backs are like that. They're not your typical clip-on backings. These kind of remind me of what you would see in, like, a museum 
catalog. You know, if you get those museum catalogs, which I love to look through, right? Drool. But they kind of remind me of something I would see in like a museum catalog. So maybe they'll do okay. We'll see. Some people are really into animal print stuff, you know? Yeah. Oh, uh, because he saw your videos and said it would be easier on my hands. Oh, and you know, I've thought about that. I, I've thought about creating another store just for jewelry and like separating it out. Um, but then, oh wait, I see a mark. Hang on. Stop the presses. There's a mark right there. Um, uh, I've thought about doing that and then I know me and I just have too many, I'm juggling too many things. Ah, Premier. Okay. I know Premier Jewelry. So these are Premier Jewelry. I have a friend who sells Premier Jewelry. Okay, cool. I mean, I guess there's people that still wear Premier Jewelry. I mean, obviously, because they still sell it. So, yeah, that's good. That'll help me identify the name of them anyway. Maybe somebody lost one of their Premier Jewelry earrings and wants a new one. Oh, yeah, Nancy says I have a Museum of Modern Art. Now. See, you guys can read it now. I don't have to read everything off. <laughs> I still am in the habit of like, oh, i got to read that. Not got it, but I'm going to read that. Okay, I'm setting up some earrings for when I find the mates. I love it. I love it, right? I lo oh, I found another cuff link. It's an S-hook one. Boop. We'll find the other one. Alrighty. Oh, look, here's some earrings to go with that big chunky necklace thing. Let's see. Oh, there's the mate. Ta-da! Yay! Good job. A lot of times there's one and, and not another. Premier? Premier is like costume jewelry brand. It's kind of like it's kind of like Pampered Chef, you know? Like they have parties and you have to, you buy the jewelry. I mean, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> like ladies that have the Pampered Chef type parties or Tupperware. But for jewelry, they usually have really pretty stuff. Um, but yeah, it's that. And so they, they have different seasons and they cycle out stuff and they cycle in new stuff, right? <laughs> what is MMA? <laughs> Mix, she's got mixed martial arts. Jewelry, no I'm kidding. <laughs> have you sold any Trifari patent pending? I've sold Trifari. I'll have to go back and look and see if any of them said patent pending. Yeah. Um, there's about a 13 second delay from when the comment is posted and it pops up on Margaret Chat. Oh, interesting. Okay. Hello, Mega. Um, oh, this is merch stuff. How many takedowns or rejections have you had in my merch career so far? Ooh. Takedowns, as far as like, you're not allowed to have that up. I think there was one a while back. And my, the ones that have been rejected, here, let me show you this while I'm talking to you. Um, maybe 15, <laughs> but it was early. It was early days. So it is, I haven't had any in a long time. Thank heavens. So it may have been a year ago. Yeah. Or so. Yeah. So there's that one. It's got one of these type of hooks here. Um, it has like a bronzy, coppery color to it, hue. So I'm not sure. I'm, I can, I, I'm gonna have to look at it closer to see if it's something that was just bought like at mm, one of those little dinky, like, you know, the icing. Oh, it's tiny. I think it's vintage. I think it's vintage because it's T90. And a lot of times these little tiny ones. Is it jet glass? No, I don't think so. Because it's got that, uh, it's hard to see in the light. Uh, but it's really got a bit of a shine that's kind of a, a bronzy shine to it. And Jet won't have that. Plus it's real cold to the touch. Um, and Jet... Jet's the one that's not glass, right? Jet's the one that's, like, cold, right? Is that right? I think that's right. <laughs> we'll have to do a... We've got that coming up later. That's for, for some of our tutorials. In the, yeah, the class was vintage. That's what, like... And then it's so tiny. A lot of times these that want, you'll find vintage necklaces. And their necks are super tinier. Right? They're much tinier. Okay, fishing wire. The bane of my existence. <laughs> these ones that have wire like that. Oh my gosh, they get tangled in everything. So there's this. I don't know. Somebody might like it. Sometimes they get these kinks in it. And then I feel like I don't want to um, sell it, right? Because it doesn't look right but I guess that's that's a maybe I'll sell it by itself we'll see that's a maybe okay I'm missing some stuff um I have a trifari patent pendant for a clip and they're selling quite high not sure what price to put on it I would say go high 
because you can always bring the price down. Isn't that the worst feeling when you sell something? You put something up and you think you've priced it okay and then it sells like that. You're like, oh, I didn't sell it for high enough, right? Um, my friend gave me a whole bunch of her mother's jewelry. That's the oh, nice. Yeah, that's what I thought, Christine. Yeah, Jeff, Jet is the is basically like a coal. We're gonna talk more about it. It's coming. It's coming. I think we're gonna. I'm not gonna tell you. I'll tell you later, Christine, because I know when we're gonna do it. So I'll talk to you about it later. <laughs> if you're in the jewelry group, you'll find out. So, twin red dragons. My sister's coming today. She's in route. She is in route. We are going to the beach. We're going to stay at a beach house. So we're going to try to do something together. French jet is glass. Oh, okay, okay. I'll have to look into that. Were you able to find out the kind of greenstone glass was on the cufflinks that I print? Pr you know, I didn't. I think I think they're just a plastic, but they look like... I want to say... that I, I can't think of the right name for it. And I did look it up, and I can't think of it now. But it's like this green... My, the reason I know is because my great-grandmother collected it, and so I have a bunch of it from hers, her stuff. It's not exactly like that, but it looks like that, you know? Um, okay, okay. So then next up is this, what I think is a handmade piece, and it's like put together, it's these leather pieces, and it looks like it's been clamped. It looks really itchy, like I'm touching it and I'm getting scratched by all the edges of these metal pieces. And also very tiny. And it's got this hook closure. I guess it's not so tiny. Can you see it okay? I have so many windows open. Hmm, like that. And I thought I saw some earrings. I did. Look, it's a set. It's very tribal looking, right? It looks handmade and very tribal. Cool. Where's the mate? I could have sworn I saw the mate. Oh, there's another, no, that's another earring. Okay, what is that? Okay. Oh, this is stamped. What does that say? There is a, let me show you the stamp in there. Animal lector. Can you see that? It looks like a B, so it's marked in there. This one is not marked. This one is also marked. You can see that. So, so I mean, somebody's going to like that, some kind of leather working. I could see somebody at the Renaissance Festival, like, because there are ones that are, like, we, I don't know if, if you guys have a Renaissance Festival near you, but we do. And some weekends are like, it's Pirates Weekend, it's Barbarians Weekend, it's... So each weekend is like a different theme. It's Dickens Weekend, you know, it's Steampunk Weekend at the um, Renaissance Festival. So I could see somebody like at Barbarian Weekend wearing this. Yeah, I'll, I'll for sure put the uh, costume cosplay in there in that. <laughs> and maybe Hannibal Lecter. No, no, I won't. Um, hello, hello. I'm sure I'm missing people. Hello. I like Kieran and... Okay, freight station. Yeah, painted leather. Adulorescence. Does that mean like when you're an adult and you like to act like a child? Because that's me. Um, hey, Rose, how's it going? I'm doing well. Thank you, thank you. I'm the one who got you started selling on Joy. Oh, good. I'm glad. I, and I couldn't be happier... To have started myself, to really have gotten into it. Okay, here's that bracelet. That well, This is one of the reasons I bought the jar. Because I just loved this bracelet. It's sort of a um, pressed metal flowers. And it looks like it used to have a safety chain, which I love. I love stuff with safety chains, but it's not there anymore. And now I'm looking at the clasp. It's got one of these that slides in. So now I'm looking for a mark because it's so nicely made. It is very nicely made, but I'm not seeing any kind of marks on it. Clip, clip. All right, let me get my, my magnet out. It's very pretty. It is not magnetic at all. You can see. Nope, nothing. Now I'm like, okay, now I want to look it over. So here's what I'm looking at. Okay, I do see a mark. So I look at where this the moving pieces clip together where things would rub apart you know like so i want to look and see is there if it's a finish on there is the finish rubbing off and it is upside down that's upside down uh well that's upside down that's weird okay mm, let's try this again there's a check and then there's a 20 and then there's a dash and then a 
It looks like a one and then upside down too. I don't know what that's all about. So I'm looking along the edges to see if there's any wear to like the finish. And it looks, hmm, you can't tell. There's a little bit. I'm going to, I don't know. I, I, okay. So then there, if you can see in there, like that has got like a golden color to the hinges. Oh goodness. I'm going to put this in my to be tested file in my to be, this is going to drive me nuts because it, it would be awesome if it was, if it was gold, <laughs> you know? How do I join the jewelry group? Are you guys talking about the jewelry group? Oh, thanks. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, there, there's a link down below to my website. You can find it at texasgaltreasures.com. Um, and there's like a little tab at the top that says jewelry group. And it is a paid group, but it's, it's really, really good. So we're, <laughs> I'm biased, but I think it's really good. So we focus on something different each month and we really dive deep into it. So like, I, We've only been at it for, this is our second month. So the first month was just amber. And each week we just dove deeper and deeper into amber. And so when you go out and you see stuff, you'll know, you know, if it's fake, if it's real, even if it's fake, is it worth something? You know, what kinds of things? So this month is all men's accessories. And we've had the Cufflink King, you know, on. And we've got another, who I consider a really great men's accessories um, expert that's going to be coming on. She and I are talking and that again is under wraps. So I'm really excited. Yeah. So I've got some friends in there saying, yeah, it's really good. Um, so yeah, it's, it's worth a join. It is. <laughs> okay. So I will let you know about this one because, because I'm going to test it when we hang up in a minute. So I'm going to put it right there because it's <laughs> so there. Lots of infos filed, and uh, you can access previous teachings. Yes, Christine, yeah. Oh, Christine, you're already in there. Um, but we have, you know, like when we did Cufflink King, we had an after show. And so all there's like files in there. Like I might share some of the info on my channel here, and then there's more in depth videos. And um, I, on my website, I've started, you know, sharing stuff, and then there's like private files and things. It's $10 a month. So not bad. Not bad. If you pay all at, all at once, then there's a discount. So it's good. Yeah. So there. <laughs> so there. But yeah, I mean, I here's my thing. It's a write-off. It's a tax write-off for one. For two, if you don't, you know, get $10 worth of information, if not for me, from somebody else in the group. Yeah. Anyway, test it, test it. Wendy says, okay, okay. I, I won't plug the group anymore. And this is the thing. Like, I'm not very good at self-promoting, so... I don't know. I always feel weird about it, but I'm enjoying it. Mm. Not enjoying self-promoting, but enjoying the group. <laughs> okay, okay. So here's this next brooch, and it's this brown flower with gold tips on it. <laughs> Get crazy. I, I may. Maybe at the end I'll go grab the test, because the testing kit's right there. I can just go grab it, and I'll test it. So there's that. Um, I'm not sure about the that flower if I'll end up putting it in a lot or not. Okay, then we've got this necklace, which I believe to be handmade. And those stones, those green ones, I think are called Unkanite. It's a U. U N A K I T E. Unkanite. Unkanite. I think that's what those are called. Anyway. Thank you guys. I'm, I'm glad those of you who are in the group, I know some of us are, some of the friends in the chat are from the jewelry group. Um, so yeah, I appreciate any, <laughs> any, any, uh, what do you call it? Affirmation, not affirmations. What do you call it when someone's like, yes, this group is fun and great. And I learn a lot. I can't think of the word. Um, so I, what do you think? I might try to sell this cause I don't see a lot of stuff green, right? What is the word I'm looking for? You like the flower rose? Okay, good, good. Oh my gosh, words. Accolades? No. It's like when, when you, when somebody does a job and then they come back and they give a report about it and give a the word. Ah, okay. Oh well. Oh well. Look at this one. 
This is a really good jar. I mean, yeah, and we haven't even tested that piece yet, but I think we're we're going to definitely make the money back. This is really pretty. I will for sure list them, this one by itself. So it's this shell dyed green. Look how pretty. Anyway, plug. <laughs> plug. Maybe. But that's, that's not the word I'm thinking of either. When it's a, um, I feel like it starts with a C, but it's not right. <laughs> All right, so this is really pretty. I'll have to look up what things like this generally go for. Um, yeah, very, very pretty. Okay, so there's that. And then we have got some more earrings. These are clip-ons. Testimonial, that's the word. Yes, testimonial. <laughs> Maybe I ought to get some testimonials on the site of people who are in the group that are yeah, getting their money's worth. Okay, so here are these earrings. Again, really pretty with the green. I like finding green stuff. I don't I don't see it a whole lot. I feel like I see that more and more though. So maybe I'm seeing it more than I maybe I just like to see the green stuff. I like green. So there's that. Those are pretty. Thanks for helping me think of that word, Dana. <laughs> okay, so close that up there. Uh and then this necklace is unusual also maybe it goes that way okay so here's this it's sort of a three-dimensional flower wire on this kind of chain now I don't know what the name of this kind of chain is like so there's that okay and then it feels kind of uh let's see let me open this up do you know how to identify genuine Weiss earrings I don't I'd have to see them and do some research I think so there's that, and I'm not thinking that's really silver. It doesn't, like this feels real tinny. I don't know how to describe it. Well, it just goes to show. Well, no, it's got a bit of a pull. There's a little pull there. Okay, cool. That'll probably end up in a lot as well, um, I think. Then we've got some, I love how they put the earrings together for me. That was really nice of them. I don't have to hunt. So there are these marbled green clip-on earrings, like there. Figaro chain, is that what that was called? I, there's a website that I always have to reference for, well, there's some chains that I know pretty well, and then there's others. <laughs> Somebody just joined the group, thank you. Um, there are some others that I know, like box chain and this and that, serpentine. Okay, so here are these ones. And I think, I see a mark on these, so I think these ones are silver. These are some clip-ons. They seem really nicely made. For that reason. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Looking in. This is marked. I'm looking again. It's really tarnished. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, it says Napier Sterling. Very nice. So Napier is a nice costume jewelry brand. Um, so I'll have to look up <clears throat> Napier Sterling Hoops. Cool. And they're really lightweight. There, here, I'm trying to see if you can see in there. It's kind of hollowed in the middle, like so. Yeah. Figaro is flatter, big and small links. Any ideas for leftovers after you go through a jar besides selling? Any troops to send to? Oh, that's a good idea. I don't know. Like, do you think... I'll have to look into that because... Um... Oh, gr groups to send to or troops to send to? You mean group? Group. Um, I was just thinking, yeah, you know, I'm sure maybe there's soldiers that would like to do some crafts. There might be. I'm about to sneeze. Apologies. Hang on. <coughs> Sorry. Ooh, excuse me. I should have muted that. <laughs> um, wheat chain. Yeah, it kind of has that look, too. I'll look at it closer again. Um... I strip beads off and donate to my son's school. Oh, that's that's cool. That's a good idea, too. We use the parts for upcycle the crafts. And Christine takes amazing photographs. If you guys haven't seen her her photos of her... Because you do somewhere, you take the beads off and you'll sell, like, the beads as a craft lot. The pictures are amazing. Okay, so here's some more of that Unkanite, if I'm saying it right. Unkanite earrings, some clip-ons. I wonder if these... I don't think these go with that other necklace. I think... I think it's... Can you see him? I think maybe that just a person liked this stone. These don't look like they really go together. 
I mean, the stone's the same, but the style is is not. So I would not lock those up. But I will sell them. I will. Okay, this is unusual. But I like the sound of it. Ting, ding, 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 ding. Right? I mean, it's got a very um, belly dancer sound to it, you know? When I say ting, 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 that's a little like ting, 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 ting sound I'm making. So this is unusual. <laughs> it's kind of got that denim blue and then a stripe of metal in there. And they, yeah, it's layered. Yeah, I'll sell that. I mean, that's one of those things that's like, wow, somebody, somebody will like that, right? And again, that could go for cosplay as well, I think. Metal, disc. And then I'm like wondering, would this be one of those that I would want to put a video or at least an audio? Because some people like, like I like the way things sound. Like if jewelry doesn't sound right, I should still do a jewelry ASMR video. Yeah. If jewelry doesn't sound right, like I, I have some earrings, okay, that I got from a jar that I thought were beautiful. But then when I wore them, they I didn't like the way they clinked together. And so I'm like, I can't wear these. <laughs> I just can't. So yeah, that one sounds good. <laughs> Wind chimes. Oh, don't tell my sister. She'll take them. <laughs> she will take them. No, she won't. She might. Oh, look, another. That's weird. There's another earring. Did I miss? It's another one of those leather ones. Maybe they had a third ear. I don't know. Or I missed over there. Oh, dear. Here we go. So, I'm going to put that to the side, and I'll tell you why I said, oh dear, in just a minute. <laughs> I'm digging. Okay, come here. So here we've got this necklace with a sun on it, like so. I might ask my little one if he wants it, but my older son <clears throat> got a necklace from one of my hauls and it had like an Asian coin and it was on a green string and it, you know, it was boyish, not that he cares, but, um, then Mikey wanted one too. So I had a necklace that had a shark's tooth on it, but it had all these little brown beads, you know, and it was like scratchy on him. So he wouldn't, he didn't want it anymore. So I'm wondering, and he's more boy, so he will probably not want this after all, because it's got those two pink, pinkish corals beads there and he will say no. No pink, mommy. Well, anyway, <laughs> just thinking out loud. So that one, I don't know, I might try to sell it. Because it's not like a lot of the other surfery type jewelries. Oh, darn, I want to see pics. Okay, hang on. Christine, do you have a website? Uh, no, just sell eBay auctions privately. Oh, yeah, she she takes amazing pictures. She, and she's in, let's see, you're in, you're in the jewelry group. You're also in Jason's group, right? Jason's Secret Beach group. I think you're in there too. Which is also a good group. <laughs> but I shouldn't be plugging other people's groups, right? But why not? Why not? Okay, okay. So then we've got these cuff links. These are the uh, like button style cuff links and have what is kind of like an S hook style to them. They're a little looser. There are. Looks like almost a monogram in there, but I can't, I don't think it is. I think it's just made to look like a monogram. I'll have to look closer at it. Just swirly swirlies. Um, let's see. Yeah, Jason. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so, yeah, I need to put, because I have all my cufflinks, tie tie, all the men's stuff is in my bedroom right now because I've been taking pictures, and then I'm going to do a big post on tie bars and tie tags. I'm still working on that. I thought it would be done in a week. Bad chance, Margaret. Not with the kids home. But it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Okay, then how many viewers do we have? This is the only thing I can't see when I'm on when I'm doing it through this system. I can't see how many viewers we've got. Look, two thumbs down? <gasps> Friends. Romans, countrymen. Lend me your ear. I did not come to praise Caesar. But to whatever. I can't remember the next line. There are these plasticky earrings. Like so, those will go into a lot. That is another. I'm saving up some earrings up here. 
and we're looking. I was in a performance of Julius Caesar my freshman year in college. I played Artemidorus. Since we're on the topic, we're only on the topic because I just quoted Julius Caesar. Yep. <laughs> Artemidorus is the one that tries to pass Caesar a letter warning him that everybody's about to stab him. And, and Caesar's like, no, man, I don't need that. <laughs> okay. Search yourself. All right, so here is this gold tone bead necklace. And it is Monet, which is another costume jewelry brand. <laughs> I don't like the screen on the chat on the screen. Oh, you don't? <laughs> Are you planning on talking naughty? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, Caroline the Celtic Trader's here. Hello, hello. Okay, so there's that. This one I'll, I'll sell. I'll have to look it up because I'm sure there are others like this on um, online. Because Monet is a pretty, you know, prolific brand. Yeah. Then there is this really pretty cross. It doesn't appear to have any stone. Well, there's only one stone. So it's one stone in the middle. The rest are made to look like stones. This is kind of nice. And then the chain is really nice. So let me get my magnet and check the chain. I like that style of chain. Let me see. I don't like the chat. Yeah, I get it. Oh, no. Nope. Never mind. <laughs> the reason I like having the... I wanted to have the chat on the screen is because I end up talking to people... And then later, or sometimes people will say stuff, and I'll laugh at it, or I'll answer them, and I won't say what they said. So, yeah. This way it's a little, I don't know. Um, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I know some people are in the chat. You, you can see now, too. They don't like it. Some people don't like it. Well, maybe I'll go both ways. Not like that, though. Not that kind of both ways, but. Where are my friends when I need them? But I don't think I can do it when I do merch talk. I'm trying to figure this out. This is very bizarre. Because look, here's the hook. I'm trying to see where I'm supposed to hook it. Where am I supposed to hook it? Not hook that. I don't know. I don't even know. So there's this part that's like the necklace part. And then there's this random hook for something. What do you make of this? I, cause, no. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> there we go. Uh oh, what is Debbie? Oh yeah, nice for the playback. Yeah, that's the main reason for the playback. All right, there's this. For, well, nah, I'll just put it over there. I'll figure it out later. <laughs> okay, then we've got some little clip-on pearly earrings. And they, they are also stamped Monet. So that's another good little brand, Monet earrings there. Um, I'm not sure if I'll try to sell those. I I'll look online and see what's out. I mean, they seem like they're really nice quality. But I feel like they're just like a dime a dozen. You know what I mean? Like I see curly clip-on earrings a lot. So we'll see. We'll see. Okay. The mystery of the necklace continues. Yeah, I gave up on it pretty quickly. All right, we've got this cool bangle, really geometric. I like that. It makes me think of Metropolis, you know. It's not exactly Art Deco, but it's very geometric anyway. Oh, that's Mark Monet as well. Okay, can you see in there? Kind of. It's got a, yeah. Monet. Cool. And then, oh, look how cute. So this is a JJ piece, which is a good brand to look out for as well. Um... I think, I think JJ does a lot of pewter brooches and things like that, too. So this is a really cute... Look Look at the bird. It's, <laughs> look at the birdie! Um, and that was me taking a picture. Um, cute! The little moving bird on the birdhouse. That's really adorable. Okay, so I'll have to look that up. I'm sure I'll sell that as well. Yeah. Yeah. And there's me thinking Monet just made out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then, oh, here's what, okay, so here's what I'm like, oh, okay. So these are some Chanel earrings. They're not for real Chanel. So it's almost like, what are you going to do with these? You can't sell them, right? <laughs> A lot of JJ, Cla hey, Thelma, there's Thelma. Um, yeah, so 
I and even on like a local garage sale site, you can't you can't put them up. So it's almost like I just throw them into a lot. <laughs> it's like a white elephant, right? You you give them and you're just like, now it's your problem. Is that bad? Trash them. Yeah, and I'm like, oh. So just trash them. Throw them into a lot. I don't know. Throw them into a craft lot. Because you can't. You just can't sell them. Anyway. You'll get in major trouble. Give them to me. Do you want them, Nancy? Shoot, I'll send them to you. Yeah, okay. I'm going to put them right over here. They're going right. They're right at Groucho's feet now. Right there. Groucho. <laughs> Recycle them. Hey, if, if Nancy wants them, I'll send them to her. That's awesome. Okay. Give him a new home. Why can't you sell? Well, because Chanel, and basically because they're fake. You know, you can't sell fakes of them. <laughs> I have, Nancy, they're there for you. Hey, the crazy card. I didn't see you come in. Um, yeah, so I'll pay for the wink queen. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, you, you can't sell fake ones. And, and that's one of the ones that if you try, they will come. You'll get a takedown on eBay, and you get your account suspended if they think you're selling fakes. Um, yeah, even if they suspect you of selling fakes. It's not worth it. It's not worth the account. Arr! On Etsy as well. And and the thing was, a while back I had a Chanel brooch that I thought was real. I mean, I, I checked it out. I looked it over. You know, this was, yeah, counterfeit, Thelma says. It and I was really confident that the brooch that I had was uh, authentic. And I put it up, and I got I got a takedown. Yeah. So now I'm just like, don't even. I mean, yeah. All right, so next up, this is a really heavy necklace. So this is a gold tone. I will probably put this into a lot. One, because look at the bits connecting them. Like, that just looks messy to me. So I will probably end up putting this. Oh, it looks like maybe that was broken because they don't all look like that. They look like this. So this will probably end up in a lot anyway, like so. But I think it'll bring some some flashy bling to a lot. Ta-da! The counterfeit market is brutal too in terms of, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> you could get an eBay spanking. <laughs> and you don't want an eBay spanking. Yeah. Um... <laughs> going on grumpy. If I could afford Chanel earrings, I wouldn't be watching markets. <laughs> yep, yep. Take a part in a steampunk, put it in a steampunk lot. Oh, that's a good idea. Because that would be, I mean, they're really like industrial, kind of like, I don't even know, looking. Okay, so then we have got this. It's a ceramic. I'm trying to see what kind I think it is. It's not like a regular clay, but it's really hard. It's not porcelain, but it's a ceramic. Um, gosh, what is that? It's going to drive me nuts. I think it's broken, though. I think it's been chipped off right there, like one of the petals was broken. It's not too noticeable, but this will probably go in a lot as well. Yeah, like so. <laughs> that's true, that's true. <laughs> Yep, yeah. that's the thing about getting rich. You don't get rich by spending a lot of money, right? If you're spending a lot of money, I mean, but then again, if you're going to do it, do it on the beach with a Mai Tai, right? <laughs> yep, this is true. So there's this. Again, this will probably go into a lot as well. It's okay looking. Bisque, bisque, yeah. And then we've got another little... um. Pearl, pearly necklace. It's tiny, probably a child's necklace. I'm looking between, and here it's got the vintage clasp, so it's vintage. Um, I'm looking between this beads. So yeah, these are gonna be fake for sure. I'm not gonna rub them on my teeth because ugh, they've been in a jar. But one of the things you look for when you're looking at pearl necklaces is are they knotted? like in between the pearls, that's one general giveaway. So if there's not knots there, because if you break your pearl necklace, you don't want them spilling all over the floor if they're real pearls, right? Um, so that's one giveaway, but we're gonna be talking more about pearls later. So this would be a good one for me to hang to the side to keep in an example. Because those ones look, you know, there's some pearl necklaces you're, you know from a mile away they're not real, but this is like, oh, okay, maybe, let's look closer. 
right? Uh, let's see. Oh dear, fake Cartier sunglasses cost me a day suspension. Yes, yes, yep. There we go. Okay, yeah, Thelma's a good one to watch for w real and fakes, especially on, on purses and stuff. So if you don't follow her, there she is right there. Follow Thelma. <laughs> All right, so this will go into a lot as well. Just a black disc necklace. How long have I been at this? We're getting closer. We're getting closer. I don't know how long this has been going, though. So let me peek down here. I cannot see. Oh, look now. Three thumbs down. Oh, dear. <sighs> Now we've got a watch. There we go. We've got some grumpy gills out there. This is a Wrangler Japan Movement watch. So that will probably end up in a lot. I don't know. I'll look it up. But Wrangler. Then we've got some more. Oh, these are really cute. These are Monet clip-ons, but they're they're naughty. 55 minutes. Thank you, Bueno Grumpy. It's the lack of nudity. I am not, you know what? No. <laughs> no. Yes, yeah, 17 thumbs up. Thank you, Car Caroline. That's true. That's true. Go over there and hit the thumbs up, friends. Let's show those grumpy gills a thing or two about being positive. I don't know. All right, so here we've got some naughty earrings. Those are really cute. I'll sell these. They're a nice knot. They're Monet. They're clip-on. Like so. Yeah, good quality. So those I'll sell. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Julie. <laughs> I am the time police. <laughs> All right, then we've got these earrings, like so. Again, that kind of cat's eye look. They have a brightened look to the back of them. That style, I don't know if they are or not, but possibly. I, mm, I'm trying to decide if I would put those up by themselves. I might. I might put them up. I mean, I think if I put them up, I'd probably put them up. 12 14 dollars maybe i'll try them somebody will like them right yep <laughs> sometimes they just have their thumbs up oops <laughs> that is a possibility yeah <laughs> i should say naughty earrings yes <laughs> okay oh this is really cute okay here we go lots of buffering oh no maybe that's why okay so this is a really cute and it's a bracelet with these little hearts all kind of like tandem linked together. That's really cute. That's upside down. <laughs> I just lost one of those. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so then this one says, this one's got a little mark on it. This one is 925. I will sell that. That's really cute. It's kind of got a, like almost like a chain mail look to it. Lots of buffering. Oh no, I'm sorry, you guys. So yeah, it's got a bit of a chain mail look to it. And I, yeah, I'm going to sell that by itself. That's really cute. This has been a very good jar. I'm very happy with it. Ah, okay, let's see. I wonder if it's because my kids just got on the... Hang on, let me call my husband. I'm calling him. I think it's because my kids just got on to play video games. I'm calling Randy. He's in the other room. I could just go in there, but I'm not. I'm just going to call him. Hey, do you know if the kids video game that they're playing is connected to the internet in some way? You don't know or no, it's not. Okay, something streaming that you know because my connection's real bad again. Okay. 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 Well, let me hang up because I'm still alive, but I was just like, so they're saying there's a lot of buffering. Yeah. Darn, okay. He says they're not playing on the internet, which is good, because I don't like that. All right, so here is a initial necklace, like so. Again, probably just going to go into a lot. Then there's this, hmm. This is cute. As long as it's not missing any stones, I'll sell it. It's got these dangling little flowers, kind of choker style. I'm looking to see if it's missing any stones. Sorry guys, if it's buffering. 35 bucks, get the kids off the computer. Yeah. He says they're not online though, so that's good. All right, so yeah, I'll sell this. Um, darn it, I'm really bummed about that. Your initials K, yay. 
Ah, oh, it's still buffering. Hang on. Hey, guys. Come here real fast. Come here, I need to tell you something. Okay, but stay right there because I'm live. Um, I need you to turn off games and we're gonna, I'll give you extra time in a minute because it's creating a problem for my video. Yeah. Okay, turn off video games for right now. Thank you. Okay, we'll see if that helps. All right, let me check my buffering thing. Oh, it says it's okay now. We'll see. Okay, a few more things. I know we're hitting an hour mark here. But we're getting close to the end. Should I do the gold? Should I check out the gold in a second after? All right, so here we've got this stretchy pearly bracelet. That'll go into a lot. We've got some more marbly clip-on earrings, like so. Let me know if it gets better. I hope it does. We've got this stretchy bracelet. That'll go into a lot. I started buffering right as you were apologizing. No blow, no blowback from the kids. They know better. I'm a bit of a stickler for for respecting your parents. <laughs> they know they won't see a video game for a week if they, they back talk me. Anyway, so there's these clip-ons. That's pretty cool. I don't see any marks on those, but those will probably go up now. I can hear them wrestling in there. That'll be a separate issue. But <laughs> okay, there's those. Um Let's see what else we've got in here. I'm trying to hurry it up for you. All right, then there's this. I've actually sold a little angel like this, so <laughs> me too. But there would be a face. Eh, they may have may have waited till they left the room. We had a bit of a falling out yesterday, though. So the kids <laughs> heard it from me yesterday. I took them to the children's museum. Yeah, Mama's got to work during the cheddar. That's um. Do clip-ons sell? Well, I haven't sold a ton of them, honestly, but I'm gonna try. There's these. I might try to sell these. Again, this is one of those. It's not my style, but it's in somebody's style, right? Those natural tones. I love that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta remember Margaret was a teacher. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> the kids are... Kids gotta show their respect, you know? <laughs> Okay, anyway. <laughs> Alright, so here are some more. These are screw back, clip on screw backs, so you can tighten them up. And I don't see. Here's my thinking, okay? Here's my thinking with clip on earrings. I always try to think who my, who my buyer is. One, somebody who does not have their ears pierced. Two, maybe there's a dude out there who likes to cross dress but doesn't want his ears pierced because he works during the day in a suit. And doesn't want that those holes in his ears and then his co-workers are like, what's going on with that, right? But then he can still dress fancy later and he has some nice clip-on earrings to wear out on the town when he dresses when he dresses up, right? You gotta think about these things. You gotta know your you gotta know who you're selling to, right? Could happen. It could happen. It's a scenario. Okay, then there's this necklace and there are some earrings to match. It's super cute. So there's that, and there's a blonde hair in there. That's not mine. So this will probably sell. It's on this um, kind of velour. It's not leather. Yeah. There we go. Or the holes have gone bigger. <laughs> Heart patients aren't supposed to get piercings either. Oh, yeah. Okay. Why did I go straight to cross-dressing? I don't know. Because. <laughs> so there's those two, those earrings that match that necklace. So that'll go together. I don't see any marks on them. And there's these earrings. Have these little bits of wood. That's cute. So you're talking about Hey, whatever. They need jewelry too. I'll sell it. Doesn't matter. There we go. Everyone wants to feel pretty. Yeah? <laughs> All in California. Short on them. Oh, interesting. What type of Earrings have horseshoe clip. That's a good question. I don't know. Yeah. All right, so there's that. Those ones, those are cute. Then we've got another, I'm looking at the clasp on this one, like faux pearl necklace. These are, see, here we go. This is another example. These are knotted. 
but from a mile away you can tell they're not real they look like sticky they look like they're like the the stuff is rubbing off of them plus the clasp is like a this type of clasp like a, a hook on and if they're real pearls you're not going to want to have a you wouldn't want to save some kind of safety clasp right theaters and studios buy them too ah, that's a good idea that's a good idea too um it's worth a try right it's worth a try listing them okay then these earrings i like these these are pretty okay so these are gold tone and silver tone they're kind of embossed looking up here is that there we go like so um yeah. <laughs> i haven't kept anything out of this lot so um i don't think they're silver at all but yeah i'll list these those are cute i'll have to find some good keywords for them etched kind of embossed looking floral i'm sure there's a word for that yeah i have a pair but i'm not sure how to list them please test the bracelet okay i'm trying to hurry so we can test that bracelet i will i'll get it down okay so then there are these earrings these look like they're silver but i'll have to double check these are also clip-on little bow tie earrings Look, clip on, bow tie, or bow, not bow tie. Um, and I'm pretty sure these are silver just from the look and the tarnish on them. And when I'm looking on the inside, you can see it's, well, there's something white in there. Okay, I will have to, okay, I'm looking. Let me get my loop, my loop. Yeah, they're easy to clip on for a person. Okay, fine motor skill problems. Uh, go, 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 go. I'm looking for a mark. Cha, 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 mark. I'm not seeing. Yes, I am. There's a mark. Hang on. Let me rub it. <laughs> to see if I can get some of the tarnish off so I can read this mark. <laughs> there. Okay. It says. It looks like it says we. It looks like it says O U I and then C. Unless it's upside down, and then I'll be super embarrassed. Let's turn it around. What does that say? I'm rubbing it somewhere to get some of this tarnish off. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I can't. Or Ova. Maybe Ova. See? These are really... Oh, oh, there's something on this one. Different. This one says Coro. Okay. But the mark is totally different on that one. Okay, so Coro. Cool. Alright, I'm going to have to do a test on those because I, I think those are silver. Cool. That's cool. Or it's another good like costume jewelry brand. Then there's this one that's dangly with all the fish and stuff on it. Yeah, just like a plasticky. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cute. It's got like turtles and fish and clams and everything. We is a brand name. Okay, I'll double check that. Cause one of them said Cora, and then the other one said it looked like it said We. Okay, so here we've got a nice little silver ring with a Celtic knot on it, like so. And it is, is small. But then again, my fingers have grown of late. So there's that, I saw that. And then we've got a pen, ooh, pretty pendant. So that is a Mexico 925 silver pendant right there. I'll sell that to you. Oh, pretty ring. Okay, here's this. That looks, like okay it looks like it wants to be like alexandrite you know where it's like alexandrite is a stone that in one i don't think it really is but in one kind of light it would be like a purple and then a purpley pink and then another kind of light it's like a blue i think you know what i mean um hey crazy how's it going so right so I, i'll have to go look at it under a different light but i i don't think they would put one, an Alexandrite, or true Alexandrite, like this size, would be like, wham, a lot of money. Avon is Avon. Okay, that's cool. But it looks like that style. <laughs> is this an Avon ring? I like it, though. It's pretty. It's showy. It's got a purpley kind of amethyst. I don't know. Anyway, we'll put it over there. Uh, next, we've got, it is a good jar, right? Some black beads. I'm almost done, look. Almost done, and we're gonna test it. I'll get my testing kit, it's right over there. Then we've got these clip-ons. Is it Avon? Yes, okay, cool, cool. I wondered, I've seen that style of ring before, 
and I kind of wonder. I have another one that actually my son made off with that's got like a big rectangular pink stone in it. It was really pretty though. Okay, so there's our, our, some more clip-on earrings and I don't see any maker's mark. It's always helpful, but you know, whatever. So there's those. Let's can go back over here. We've got a nice little leaf pendant. It's bronzy, coppery colored. Copper, copper, right? That's more of a... That one's copper. <laughs> you know, I always get uh, copper and bronze, but this one for sure. When I see them side by side, or when I see copper, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's copper. It's got more orangey to it. And then these match that necklace. I don't think the buffering is due to the kids playing video games. Darn. Okay, I was hoping that would fix it. So there was a necklace or a pendant that was for those. Then we had these earrings that are just gold, um, gold tone. A little cross stretchy bracelet. Almost done. And we'll go get the gold testing kit. Then there are these ones. Falsely accused. That's okay. They don't need any more screen time. They're good. <laughs> There's that. I might give this to my sister because it's got some nice glass beads in there. You know, and she's collecting she's collecting glass beads to make wind chimes with. So I'll set that to the side for her. And that's pretty much it. There are these ones. That... Look, look. I've got to look at those closer because they look like bone. So, you see, you can see the little nicks. Can you see that? They look like they might be like a... It's either a bone or something that's trying to look like bone. One or the other. You see what I mean? Those little lines going down like so. And that's something else that's on the agenda for the jewelry group too, is talking about bone and ivory and what you can sell, what you can't sell, and all of that good stuff. Is that it? Pretty much. There's another teeny leaf. Tick tock, tick tock. Okay, okay, okay. So there's a few things I didn't have mates. <laughs> there, and there, and there, and there. No mates, no mates. Look, these earrings are pretty though. Okay, last ones, and then I'll go get the kit. Look, look how pretty. Aren't those nice? I like those. Those are really feminine and dainty, like so. And I do have the mate for that one. And they have that kind of ombre, dark, and then light, and then light, lighter, lighter, lighter. Okay, I am going right over there to get the kit, okay? Uh, here's what we're going to do. You look at my stuff, my mess back here, and we'll play I Spy, okay? <laughs> no rush. Okay, good, good, good. I spy with my eye something that is... Oh, gosh, I want to make sure you can see it. I spy something... Here, I'm going to scooch it up so you can see more. I spy something pink, okay? Put in the chat what you think it is. I'm giving you a second. I'm getting the stuff. Here's the stuff. <laughs> I spy something pink. What do you think it is? <laughs> oh, my magnet is stuck on here now. Okay. Get off there. I'm getting set up while you're guessing. I see a couple. It's not the bracelet. <laughs> it's not the bracelet. Uh, oh, I need to get more gloves. These are my last gloves. Empty box. I spy something pink. The girl wall art. Yes, that's it. That's Nellie gave me that <clears throat> over there. The little, like, nesting doll. <laughs> that's it. Yay. That's what you meant, right? Girl wall art. <laughs> okay, here we go. Got the gloves on. Almost done. Yes, go ahead. Okay, and I got the kit. Here we go. Ha ha! Alrighty, so the only thing is I'll have to do it to the side where you can't see what I'm doing. So, <laughs> I almost knocked you over. Hang on. Hang on. Yes, dear. Um, 15 minutes? 10 minutes. 5 minutes. Fifteen minutes. I haven't been I'm all live here. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. I'm still live stricken. I'm almost done. Okay, so here we go. I have a link if you're interested um, for the gold testing kit down in the description box below. And I have done a couple videos on how to use it. It is acid, so you've got to protect yourself, you know, and all that good stuff. Uh, she's got the gloves on, fellas. Right. Okay, so then I've got my little square. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, the... Okay, okay. I'm going to take the piece where it won't show. So I'm going to... Where is the camera? There it is. This is different for me here. Okay, there. So I'm going to get go um, scratch this part of it that slips into the hole over here because I don't want it to show or damage the piece. Oh, it's like... Close your ears. I don't think it is. Gosh, that sound. One, that sound is killer. Two, when I scratched it, can you see it like, you can see where it kind of changed the color right there? It, scra it scraped off the finish. Yeah, it did. So it's not going to be gold. I can, I know, sorry. <laughs> I got to warn a person, right? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the 10K on it, but I know it's, I already can tell you now, it's not. It's really nicely made though, but it's, um, I mean, okay, so I put the 10K on there. I mean, there's a chance that it's plated, maybe, but what is this number? <laughs> Was that your, no, it's fading slowly. So, Yeah. I can't show you either because I don't want to pour the acids on me. That wouldn't be good. And, oh, where's my towel? I don't have a towel. Great. I did not think this through. No way gold never makes such a sound. I know, right? There's no way. Yeah. The sound for one, the whatever, the, the finish that came off. But it was worth a try, right? It was worth a try. The bracelet you like from India. Yes, yes. It looks like vintage Avon. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna I'll have to clean that up in just a second. So, yeah, um, thank you everybody for coming over to watch. Uh, I hopefully will have a video tomorrow. My my sister comes in this evening. Um, we go to the beach on Sunday, so Sunday I'll have my Sunday show early, and then tomorrow we'll see. We're going to a, like a honey festival, like a honey bee festival. She's coming in early, so we can go to that. Yeah, um, and then, yeah, that's it. So we'll see, and then we, I'll probably do some, like, merch, the merch talk from the beach. Hopefully it'll stream okay from the where we're staying at the beach. Um, I think that's it. Okay, make sure you go over there and hit the thumbs up, everybody, and thank you, everybody, for coming to watch live, and I think, how many people do we have watching? Because, again, I'm on a new system here. 46 watchers live, 29 thumbs up. Thumbs down. Go over there and hit that thumbs up, friends, and I will talk to you all later. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much.